My name is Michelle Ramsey. I am the Executive Director of the Community Counseling Center Foundation and I am here at Ivor Square for Mental Health Awareness Month for the Community Counseling Center. So if somebody is in distress or they are having a crisis, they can always call our office, 334-1100. Um, they can also reach out to 988, which is the crisis hotline, and that is fielded by professionals that can then help get them an appointment where their location is. So it's a statewide initiative and it is available to anyone, no matter what's going on. So the importance of Mental Health Awareness Month is one in five Americans are gonna be touched by mental health issue at some point in their lives. And again, that doesn't have to be the scary that you see on TV. It can be depression, it can be anxiety, it can be you know, overwhelming feelings that you don't know what to do with and you need help putting them in the right boxes in your head so that you can function efficiently. We teach our kids whenever they say they don't feel good, we say what hurts and they say my tummy or my head. But there's not a way to define what this is when it comes to not feeling right. You just know you don't feel right, you know? And so we're just excited that we have a place that people can come to receive help and to guide them through that. And maybe it's just hanging out with the, a peer support specialist and listening to them share their story and making you feel comfortable to share yours. There's just so many things that it encompasses. So for us, breaking the stigma of not feeling like you can talk to someone or not wanting to share because you're embarrassed or being afraid that you might not get a job if somebody knows that you have that, those are very real things that happen. And so the more awareness we can raise to Mental Health Awareness Month, obviously it doesn't need to just be a month, it needs to be year round, but we gotta start the conversation somewhere. So the Community Counseling Center provides services in five counties, and those services are for mental and behavioral health. So that could be anything from counseling to school-based counseling, youth day treatment, um, which is for children. We have residentials that we have clients that have progressed through their treatment plan and are now able to live in some clustered apartments, or they may be kind of transitioning, so they're in residential facilities. We of course have Cottonwood Treatment Center, which is the only residential for children the ages seven to um, 17 in the state. And so we have, um, I think 16 beds available there. And so those kiddos may be from here, but they may be from you know across the state um, and they are truly in crisis. So it's an intensive program and they stay there. We have a women's residential center um, here in Cape. We have a, co-ed and then we have one that's for like 18 to 24 year olds just helping them teach life skills that type of thing. We have healthcare home nurses that carry about a hundred client load and they work with their families as well as the client. Mental health services basically encompasses everything from anxiety to OCD to schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, you know many many things and not all of them are devastating, they're manageable. And so that's what Mental Health Awareness Month is about, is having people be okay with sharing, hey, I'm not feeling so good and I need some help. And not making it be something that they're judged for just because they share. Our services are unique. We have 22 locations just here in Cape Girardeau alone. And there's 30 across the five counties that we serve. So um, we do a lot. We have almost 500 employees and we're busy and we need more employees because we're constantly on the go. But it's an honor and a privilege to be able to be that resource here in the community that people can come to for direction and help. We have a doctor's office in our main building. We have a pharmacy. We have nurse, nurse practitioners or doctors in all five of our counties. So, you know, I mean, we are trying to make it as easy as we can for people to get help. We've done mental health awareness, social media and things like that, but I wanted to turn the area green. That was my goal. And so I put together business sponsorships that would allow us to give, say, a bank that has multiple locations, a feather banner, a yard sign, and shirts for their employees with the challenge for them to wear green on certain days and all of that. And from that, 
it kind of blew up and got larger. And so I have been able to partner with the city of Cape. They've been wonderful to work with us and they have accommodated us with feather banners that say mental health awareness in the different parks. We have yard signs throughout the city now at the trails, the recycling center, out in front of City Hall. So they've been very, very vital to helping us. And then the Bill Emerson Bridge is lit green for the entire month of May, and that is for Mental Health Awareness Month as well.